Section 157 of 15,000 Useful Phrases by Grenville Kleiser. Read for LibriVox.org by Joan Walton in Mountain View, California. A pompous failure. A potential menace to life. A powerful and persuasive orator. A prevalent characteristic of her nature. A prey to the tongue of the public. A pristine vigor of style. A profusion of compliments. A proposition inherently vicious. A puerile illusion. A quenchless thirst for expression. A rage akin to frenzy. A rare precision of insight. A rather desperate procedure. A reckless fashion. A recrudescence of superstition. A relish for the sublime. A reversion to the boldest paganism. A rigid avoidance of extravagance and excess. A ripple of applause. A restraining and conservative force. A robust and consistent application. A sacred and indissoluble union. A sane philosophy of life. A secluded dreamer of dreams. A secret and wistful charm. A sense of deepening discouragement. A sense of indescribable reverence. A series of brief and irritating hopes. A settled conviction of success. A sharp difference of opinion. A sharp pang of regretful surprise. A shrewd eye to the main chance. A signal deed of justice. A skeptical suspension of judgment. A slight and superficial tribute. A slowly subsiding frenzy. A snare and a delusion. A somewhat complicated and abstruse calculation. A sordid and detestable motive. A sort of incredulous stupefaction. A source of unfailing delight and wonder. A species of moral usurpation. A spirit inimical to learning. A spirit of complacent pessimism. A startling and unfortunate digression. A state of scarcely veiled insurrection. A state of urgent necessity. A stern decree of fate. A stern foe of snobbishness. A storm of public indignation. A strange mixture of carelessness, generosity, and caprice. A strangely perverse and poverty-stricken imagination. A strong assumption of superiority. A subjugated and sullen population. A sudden revulsion. A supposed ground of affinity. A synonym for retrogression. A taunting accusation of falsehood. A tedious and needless drudgery. A temper which brooked no resistance. A temporary expedient. A tender tone of remonstrance. A theme of endless meditation, a thing of moods and moments, a thoroughly sincere and unaffected effort, a thousand mangled delusions, a tissue of dull excuses, a tone of exaggerated solicitude, a touch of exquisite pathos, a trace of obvious sarcasm, a transcript of the common conscience. A trifle prim and puritanic. A truth begirt with fire. A unique and overwhelming charm. A vague aversion. A variety of conflicting and profound emotions. A variety of enfeebling amendments. A vast multitude of facts. A vastly extended vision of opportunity. A vehement and direct attack. A very elusive and delicate thought. A very formidable problem. A vigilant reserve. A violent and base calumniator. A voice of matchless compass and eloquence. A warmth of seemingly generous indignations. A wealth of resource that seemed inexhaustible. A welcome release from besetting difficulties. A whole catalogue of disastrous blunders. A whole whirlpool of various emotions. Abounding bodily vigor. 
above and beyond and before all else, absurd and inconsequential career, abundant and congenial employment, accidental rather than intentional, accustomed to ascribe to chance, acquired sentiments of propriety, activities of the discursive intellect, actuated by an unduly anxious desire, acute sensibility coupled with quickness of intellect, adhere too tenaciously to forms and modes, admirable mastery of technique, admit the soft impeachment, admitted with a childlike cheerfulness, advance by leaps and bounds, advancing to dignity and honor, adventitious aids to memory, affectation and superfluous ornament, aggravated to an unspeakable degree, agitated and perplexed by a dozen cross-currents of conflicting tendency, agreeable and humanizing intercourse, aided by strong mental endowments, airy swiftness of treatment, alien to the purpose, all sorts of petty tyrannies, all the resources of a burnished rhetoric, allied by taste and circumstances, allied with a marked imperiousness, almost incredible obtuseness, altogether monstrous and unnatural, always observant and discriminating, amaze and confound the imagination, amiable and indulgent hostess, amid many and pressing avocations, amid the homeliest details of daily life, amid the rush and roar of life, ample scope for the exercise of his astonishing gifts. End section 157. This recording is in the public domain. Recorded by Joan Walton, Mountain View, California.